It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Well, you were here, but we told earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm following you in a way all day long today. You know, one thing that's that's turned around, like everyone's been talking to media. We're trying to all get your name right, pronounce it right. Can you set the record straight? Does it matter? Just say whatever you want to say. I don't give a shit. That I like that. Bang is probably just the easiest way. You know, speaking of that, you can associate your last name with. If I don't see you naked for a while, I think I'm gonna be okay. How did I mean you went for it totally in this film? Uh, you and Elizabeth, both of you guys. How did you kind of approach it? That's pretty brave. I'll say that not every actor can just literally let it loose and, and make it so authentic and realistic. How did you guys approach the the, the love making scene? Just kind of like letting yourself be free completely, because that was something really. Well, it's in the script, and I think that we sort of felt that. It had a quality of, 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 of them just, I mean, they just, I mean, they meet and like half an hour later they're in bed together and we just thought that, it, that the quality of the, I don't, I don't fucking know really, we just did it, it's not, it's not a big deal. We made it so authentic, that's what I appreciate, it wasn't, like, this is how something like that in real life you could imagine happening, you know. But, but I think, I mean, if you've never done film sex, you think it's a big deal, it's not a big deal, you just do it. It's not like, it's the most unsexy thing you can ever imagine. Is it you've true got, when they say there's all these cameras? You've, you've, you've got like 10 people in the room. Yeah. It's not sexy at all. I mean, you don't have to worry about I mean, it's just, it's really just getting it done. And it's all about, I mean, to me, it's always quite important to make, I mean, to sort of do a choreography so that you know, okay, at this point I'll do this and then I'll put my hand there and then you'll kiss me and then we'll do this. And, and it's just like, it's not very difficult. There you go. I like that. You know, I need to ask you about Mick Jagger. I mean, I had no idea he was that good of an actor. You know, you know Mick oh, as a performer. performance? I did not. Oh, it's amazing. I was blown away. By he's him. really, really cool. He's, um, in that film, he's amazing, I think. And he's really good in this one as well. It's, um, he's really good. And Donald Sutherland, I can't believe, first of all, he's 85 years old. The man doesn't look the part at all. And is that like a master class when he's acting? Because like the, he steals like every scene. It just... He's in control of everything, it seems like. Uh, yeah, but he's just brilliant, isn't he? He's, yeah. and, and just an honor to be in this company, really. Yeah. I mean, do you find yourself kind of just watching him when you were in, in scenes or maybe away from... No. I mean, if you're, in, if you're acting with him, if you're in scenes with him, you do your... I mean, obviously I do, yeah. No. No, that would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. You know, what was it like? Uh, the locations really kind of are almost a character in the story because, like, we know the novel took place in yeah. Miami. Tell me, being on location, how much did it got help you guys kind of bring it to life in a sense? Yeah, what's that, please? What, what was that? Well, just being at that location, how much yeah. did it help you bring it to life, really? Even your characters and help it out in that way. Would it would have been different for you if it was in a different spot that you guys filmed there? Because I felt like it looked... That's very hard to say because we didn't film it in a different... We filmed it there. But I do think that it had... It did affect it somehow. But, I, but I, it's very hard to say uh, what it would have been like to do someplace else. But I, I think that the... Um, Weirdly, it's a very beautiful place, but in the film, it almost becomes a little bit threatening in a way. It has sort of a... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree with it, that. It I, sort I, of I, has I, a little bit of a... Um, I'm a huge fan, and I know that people are going to be huge fan. A threatening... I, I can't really explain it, but it becomes a little bit unsettling somehow. Yeah. It just feels very raw in, in a lot of ways. I feel like that, that's kind of the thing yeah. about it. Yeah. It, it really feels when they go on that drive and they drive out there, it's you just sense no. That's not going to go very well. That's going to go to hell. I like that about everything. Dracula, i got to ask you about that. How, how cool is it to, to be part of a character that's been around for, for a lot of ways? And how much did you make it your own versus seeing the, the, the history of a Dracula character? How, how much do you make it your own and just kind of like forget about all that other crap that's been done before? Well, it's not so... I mean, you can't just decide I'm going to make it my... I'm, I'm, I, I do what is in the script. So I... I and I know I never actually think about myself as an interpreter of anything. I think of myself as an instrument you can play. And I think if this is something, this is our Dracula, this is, this is the Dracula that sort of came out of 
the writing from Stephen and, and, and Mark and, and, and then how I sort of embodied it. So, I mean, that's probably what I, how I would describe it. It's not... Um, it's not a question. I mean, I, 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 I suppose I make stuff my own in, in the sense that I like to sort of find stuff that I can connect with so I can actually put something in there that is believable or authentic or something. Mm, that, that's the extent of, of, of making it my own, I'd say. Finally, is the beard going? Is that a new look for you? <laughs> the beard is for a film that, is, that Robert Eggers is doing, the guy that did The Lighthouse and The Witch. Um, he's shooting a film that I'm in, and we're shooting that in Northern Ireland. And my beard is supposed to get as long as it possibly can. I hate it. I dread it. I think it looks fucking annoying, and food gets stuck in it all the time. You have to wash it ten times a day, because otherwise you've got burgers and shit sitting for it. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, it's coming off hopefully soon. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate it.